Greetings guys, this is Magnanmas Lectures Online. We continue treating the Engineering Science M3 Test 1 question paper which was written on the 4th of October 2019. Now we are doing question 3 which is about friction. 3.1.1 says explain the term angle of friction. 3.1.2 define the coefficient of friction. 3.2 we are given a scenario and 3.2.1 says calculate the magnitude of the applied force. 3.3 we are given scenario as well and 3.2.1 calculate the friction force between the motor and the floor. 3.2.2 calculate the angle of friction. So let's attempt to answer the questions. 3.1.1 says uh, explain the term angle of friction and uh, the angle of friction is the angle between the resultant force and the normal reaction force which can be replaced by the normal reaction force and the maximum frictional force so this resultant uh, force we are talking about is the resultant due to the normal and the frictional force since we know the normal x perpendicular upwards and the frictional force parallel to the horizontal opposing friction so the resultant we are talking about is the resultant due to nr and ff and the angle we are talking about is this so we define this as Three point one point two says define the coefficient of f of friction. You can see the coefficient of friction is the arc term of the angle of friction or we can say using the formula that we are given in the formula sheet is the ratio of the frictional force to the normal reaction force and question 3.2 says a small wood milling machine has a mass of 75,000 grams and it rests on a horizontal surface. A pushing force at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal is applied to the block. The coefficient of friction between the surfaces is 0 0.25. Calculate the magnitude of the applied force. So to answer this question, we have to draw the force diagram. So 3.2. Draw that the, the milling machine is on a horizontal surface. So. And 
and we have a pushing force that's acting at an angle Ref this is the reference axis which is parallel to the horizontal 20 degrees for six then we are told that it's 75,000 grams the mass of the milling machine is 75,000 grams converted to kilograms divided by 1,000 75 kilograms and then we've got friction which is opposing which is mu n we've got normal reaction and weight which is mg which will be 75 times 9.8 75 times 9.8 is 735 neutrons then we've got this force and we're told to calculate the magnitude of the reaction force and to to do that we are going to see forces in the x direction equals to zero the forces in the x direction is f applied x is f applied minus frictional force equals to zero therefore f applied x equals to frictional forces and we know that f applied x it's f e cos 20 degrees equals to mu and r making f e making an r subject of the formula we're going to say n r equals to f e cos 20 degrees all over mu which is 0 0.25 this mu and then we say forces in the y direction equals to zero forces in the y direction it's negative f a y plus n r minus w equals to zero and then we take f e to that side we're going to have n r minus w equals to f a y And we substitute what we have nr it's a uh, f e cos 20 degrees over 0 0.25 minus w which is 735 equals to f e y which is f e sine 20. then we take this to the other side and this to this side we're going to have f e cos 20 degrees 20 degrees over 0 0.25 minus f e sine 20 degrees equals 735 make f e subject of the formula by factoring it out synthesize into cos 20 over 0 0.25 minus sine 20 equal to 735 therefore fe equals to 735 divide both sides by this so you will be left with fe this side will be this divided by this let's write that down it's cos 20 0.25 minus sine 20 if we punch that into the calculator let's see what we get 735 over put this in bracket cause 20 0.25 
minus sine 20 okay. get two one five point one one seven newtons let me try to confirm that and 75 times 9.8 over cos 20 over 0 0.25 minus sine 20 that's correct then we move to question 3 Point three. Question three point three says an electric motor with a mass of hundred kilograms must be dragged across the workshop floor if the coefficient of friction between the motor and the floor is zero point four four. Calculate the friction force between the motor and the floor, then calculate the angle of friction. Okay. 3.2.1 says calculate the friction force. Friction force equals to mu normal force. And we know that in a horizontal plane whereby the forces are acting vertically upwards and horizontally only there are no forces acting at an angle. NR equals to mg actually equals to w which is equals to mg and our m is 100 times 9.8 this is going to give us 100 times 9.8 980 newtons so our f f is going to be 0 0.44 times 980 is going to give us four three one point two newtons. FF equals four three one point two newtons. Then three point two point two says calculate the angle of friction. Sun theta equals to mu and theta equals to tan the inverse of mu therefore theta equals to tan inverse of 0 0.44 tan theta equals to 0 0.44 equals to 23.75 degrees that's our angle of friction and that's the end of question three which is the end of our question paper thank you